eine Sache hatte, hat Paul mir noch geschickt. Und zwar, wir haben ja letztens Race Beyond Matter geguckt und der hatte doch so eine unglaublich tolle äh, Buttonbox. Und ich habe aber komplett vergessen, danach zu gucken. Und scheinbar hat Paul dieses Video auch gesehen und hat mir jetzt ein Review-Video dazu geschickt und ich möchte das jetzt sehen. Paul zwingt mich, Hardware zu kaufen. Das ist unfair. Das finde ich nicht gut. Aber ich bin wirklich sehr gespannt, was das kann. Wirklich. Also die Buttonbox interessiert mich. Extreme. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Now today we're going to be looking at something a little bit special. This is a product by Precision Sim Engineer. Die haben immer noch übrigens das beste, Entschuldigung Dave, wenn ich die unterbreche, äh, die haben immer noch das beste Wheel, absolut verliebt. If you don't know who Precision Sim Engineering are, well they are a maker. Oh, ich liebe dieses Lenkrad. Oh, ich liebe dieses Lenkrad so sehr, ne? Oh, wenn es nicht so scheiße teuer wäre. Oh, ich liebe dieses Lenkrad so sehr. Das ist, habe ich mir damals, habe ich mir das schon angeguckt und ich war komplett verlauft in den Apparat. Oh, es ist so geil. Hm, aber 1500 Pfund. Of top quality, high end wheels and they're renowned for their build quality. And Simon from Precision Sim Engineering reached out to me and said, Dave, do you want to test one of our new products? I didn't even know what it was. He didn't say it. But of course... It's precision sim engineering, so I'm always going to say yes. And what we're going to be looking at today isn't a steering wheel. It's essentially a button box. It's called their Pro Switch Panel. But before we get into the video, the necessary disclaimer. Ich sehe gerade, dass äh, Dave hat auch ein ähm, äh, Dave hat auch einen belüfteten Sitz. Oh. I didn't pay for this item. Precision sim engineering have sent me this to test. I don't even know if I get to keep it. But they don't get to see this video before it's published and they've got absolutely no input in relation to what I say. I will also say that I'm not a reviewer of products. That's not what I do, but I am a sim racer, exactly the same as you. And that's the opinion that you're going to get. Now, when I look at a product to test, I look at it as if I'm going to buy it with my own money. And there's only four things really. Das ist auch, finde ich persönlich, der schönste Weg, das zu testen. Als dass man denkt, dass man das für sein eigenes Geld gekauft hat. Und dann aber auch wirklich alles hart kritisiert, was einen ankotzt. Also wenn ich mir für 1400 Euro ein Wheel kaufe und das funktioniert nicht, dann ist aber Tilt angesagt. That I'm interested in. Firstly, how does it look? If it doesn't look right, I'm not going to buy it. Secondly, what's the build quality like? Thirdly, how does it perform? And finally, is it value for money? So, let me give you a look at the device. Here it is. This is the Pro Switch Panel. There's the front. So we've got 20 buttons on the front. We've got two rotary encoders, which are also buttons. So essentially, 22 buttons and two rotary encoders. Now, all of these buttons are LED backlit. So with the use of their own software, ChromaWorks. Oh, that's... Ah, wäre schön, wenn das in Simhub drin wäre. Ist kein Dealbreaker, aber es ist halt wieder so, nochmal Software. Or Simhub, or this. Oh, never mind, hab nichts gesagt. Wir spulen zurück. Erst ausreden lassen. Moment. <lacht> The use of their own software, ChromaWorks, or Simhub, or this comes to life. I'll show you the back. We've got one USB port on the top there. We've got this plate here, which is for mounting. Really easy. I don't think I've ever seen anything so simple and well designed. So firstly, let's talk about looks. Well, it's a button box. It's not really going to set the world on fire unless it's something that you're going to use every single day. And I think it looks absolutely brilliant. It looks really good, especially when you see it with the LEDs on. So nice, simple, sophisticated design. I absolutely love it. Now, we'll move on to build quality. Now, I've read about Precision Sim Engineering online. I've seen their wheels. I've read about the high quality and the build quality. And this is no different, folks. This is no different. It's absolutely perfect. And I don't really talk about packaging, really. But I'm going to show you something. Now, this is the box that it comes in. Just a nice, plain... Box, the Pro Switch panel. Now I've taken some things out of the box, so it's not complete, but there's some things left in there, and you'll be blown away by how they are packaged. I certainly was. So we've got some stickers, sent me loads of stickers for the rim. 
But look at this. Look at the way these bolts and nuts are. Oh, mein Herz geht gerade richtig auf. Oh, mein, mein Herz, mein Kundenherz geht gerade richtig auf. Oh. Wisst ihr, das ist für viele, viele, also wirklich für viele Menschen ist das total Wumpe. Die interessiert das nicht. Aber ich liebe es, wenn sich eine Firma hinsetzt und sich auch Gedanken macht, wie packt der Kunde das aus. Du kannst jetzt, weißt du, du kannst jetzt sagen, was du willst, aber Apple, also wirklich Apple-Produkte auspacken ist so, so absolut satisfying, weil sich da jemand hingesetzt hat. Was macht der Kunde, wenn er den Deckel abhebt? Was sieht er zuerst? Wie riecht das? Wie ist das angeordnet? Ist das nervig, das auszupacken in 50 Plastikfolien? Oder machen wir einfach den, den, den Allen Key, also den, den Imbusschlüssel, legen wir den einfach da rein? Oder, aber wie geil ist das denn, dass das wahrscheinlich, also würde ich jetzt mal sagen, magnetisch die Schrauben da drin hält? Oh! Oh, da geht mir richtig einer ab, ey. Das ist richtig gut. A packaged. Look at that. So, I've removed this side here, obviously. I'm using those for the mountain. But look at that. Every nut, every bolt has got their own little compartment, which is perfect. Look at that. And if they're doing that with the packaging, imagine what the internals on that are going to be like. So, I don't really talk about packaging too much, but it's definitely worth a mention when it's as good as this. Deswegen rede ich übrigens auch immer über die Verpackung und den Geruch. Bei mir das, mir persönlich ist das super wichtig, wenn ich etwas auspacke, dass das ein Erlebnis ist und nicht nur Plastikbeutel. So build quality is off the scale as you would expect from precision sim engineering. Now, if you just look at the buttons, can you see on the top of the buttons, I don't know if you can see it, there's a very, very small lip on the top. Um, Try and hopefully you can see it there. But that just aids putting those stickers on. You push the stickers up to that lip and you know they're in exactly the right place. Gut durchdacht auf That's jeden Fall. detail. And we'll talk about mounting it. Now, this has been one of my issues throughout my whole sim racing life is where to mount button boxes. I've, come up with, I've bought little bits of aluminium before. I've bought little 90 degree angle brackets from... B&Q or home base. Nothing's ever worked. But the solution that they've come up with is absolutely perfect. Now, you can see on the back there, this plate, that actually comes off. I'll take that off real quick. Oh, hol mich ab, los. Hol mich, hol mich ab. Ah! Wie? There, so the plate comes off. And this is your regular Vesa style mount. Mm. And all of the holes on that side are all countersunk. Now, this is compatible with Vesa and RAM mounts. Now, I've got a RAM mount here. This lag nicht If you're dabei. not familiar what a RAM mount is, well, this is one. You can buy these from Precision Sim Engineering as an extra, or you can source your own. You just literally undo that, and then you've got flexibility on both ends. I'll just slacken that a bit more. You've got flexibility on both ends. Okay. So you can mount... Also, I im Grunde genommen, so wie bei mir, äh, Frankenstein einfach. Wherever you want. Now, the way this attaches, literally, on the back of the ram mount there, you, you line up the holes, put your screws in there, then that then attaches to the back plate. And because they're countersunk on the other side, bear with us, I need about four hands here. And because they're countersunk on that side, That sits nice and flush. That's how that mounts. And then this side would, would mount to your aluminium profile rig. Really, really good mounting solution. I don't think I've seen anything so clean and tidy as this. So mounting this is an absolute breeze. Mm. And as I mentioned, that's always been an issue. As, as long as I've been sim racing, yep. mounting my button boxes and stream decks and all that kind of stuff, it's always been an issue. Aber das Geile ist, und was machen sehr viele Firmen mittlerweile, äh, was viele Firmen mittlerweile machen, sie machen in das Gehäuse einen Drehgewinde rein, sodass du von hinten einfach dein, habe ich dir sowas liegen? Ja, dass du dir sowas hier nehmen kannst, hier, so ein, 
Das, sind, das mag ich sehr gerne, weil hier hast du noch mehr Flexibilität. Also du kannst den halt hoch, runter und in alle Himmelsrichtungen kannst du das Ding äh, verbiegen. Und es gibt mittlerweile äh, Filme, und das finde ich total geil, die machen hinten genau dieses Gewinde rein. Und dann kannst du das Gewinde einfach reindrehen und mit einem Adapski kannst du das Ding direkt in den Lutstein reindrehen und dann bist du fertig. Das ist auch super geil, dass Leute sowas machen oder filmen. Die Lösung hier ist natürlich aber auch sehr elegant und schön. This is the best yet. So next up, we'll talk about the lights. I'll give you a little demo, show you what it looks like when it's all illuminated and what you can actually do with it in Simhub. So first of all, I'll show you what it looks like within Windows. Wie, da fährt jemand in den Victor Wheelbase? Okay. It's just a USB game oh, controller. Okay. You'll see it on the list there. Pro Switch Panel. So if we click that and click Properties, you'll see that it's just a normal button box, how a button box would usually look. As if we press the buttons, mm -hmm. they all illuminate. Same with the rotaries and the buttons on the rotaries as well. So a normal USB game controller. But as you can see at the moment, it's all in darkness now. We want to add a little bit of color to the device This is where ChromaWorks comes in. Now, this is the software from Precision Sim Engineering. Schön. And we can work our magic within here, make it look a little bit more fruity. So if we wanted to pick a color, we'll just say blue, and we can just literally tap on the buttons, whatever one there, blue. Wanted red, literally just tap on buttons there, they turn red. If we wanted to make them all red, Click on Apply Selected to All, ah! and then they will all turn red. And then if you wanted to, then you can just add a little bit of blue. That's really schön. A little bit of orange. Whatever you want to do. Klein you can Kram, literally go nuts within the software, save your profile, exit out of the software, and it's all stored on the device. But if you're not using SIM, oh, then that's, you're not oh, mm. also wenn das wirklich auf dem Gerät gespeichert ist, dann ist das allererste Sahne. Ui, ich liebe das, wenn Geräte ihren Scheiß auf dem Dings speichern und nicht auf dem PC. Wenn du irgendwann dein Windows neu machst und dann sitzt du da und alles funktioniert. Oh, das ist bei den, wenn ich das richtig in Erinnerung habe, ist das bei den VRS-Pedalen, ist das auch so, dass in dem Controller drinne diese, diese Sachen gespeichert werden. Mm, geil! I'm getting the most out of this device. So we've jumped into the simulator and I've got rid of all the colors of Chroma works, so the device is in complete darkness. Now I have mapped all of these buttons to the device. So if I wanted to, we could start the engine, ignition, starter. Everything works, toggle the wipers. We've got pass left, pass right. Everything works. Turn that off just for now. But I'll load up SimHub and we'll just add a bit of color. So we'll just drag in SimHub And we'll just have a look at the profile. So we'll click devices. You can see there, Precision Sim Engineering Pro Switch Panel. We'll click on that one. And we've oh, got the profile. Oh, das, mm, das, oh. Bitte sag mir den Preis. Ey, wirklich, ich liebe das, weil dieses Gerät hat nicht nur eine einzige Funktion. Nicht nur eine, sondern du kannst damit halt auch gleichzeitig noch eine... Du hast dann deine RGB-Matrix da mit drin, du hast eine Buttonbox da mit drin, deine Funky-Switches mit drin. Mm. Da hat sich halt jemand einen Kopf gemacht und das finde ich total toll. By loader that's been provided by Precision Sim Engineering. See, there's lots and lots of things that we've done in here. Now, this profile uses PIT macros. Now, if you're not familiar with what those are, I'll just quickly show you. You go into the options... An option again, you can see on the right hand side here, auto text chat. We have set up a few pit macros. So one to add 25 liters of fuel, one to add 50, one to add 75, one to clear the tires, one to change the tires. Really easy. And we've mapped those to buttons on there and the profile takes advantage of pit macros. Now, all in darkness, we click on the kill LEDs light. We know we've got power to the device. If we press the ignition, then we'll press the starter. There will be a small animation. Then Was? 
There we go. So now it shows you a little bit more what we've got to play with. So we've got the volume. We can turn the volume of the sim up and down. Here we've got the pit macro. So if we wanted to add 25 litres of fuel, we just press that button. And the pit stop will start. If we wanted to stop fueling for whatever reason, we can just press the stop fuel button. Same with the tyres. If we wanted to start changing the tyres, press that button. That's illuminated because we are changing tyres. But if we wanted to stop for whatever reason, if we only wanted to change one side, press that button and it will stop as soon as it can. And everything else is just illuminated. Just looks a little bit prettier. Now, I will show you that the flags are actually set up to be used on SimHub as well. So I'll just load SimHub back up now. If we go to Open Test Data Editor, I I'll strike this in here what? so you can see exactly what we're doing. What? So if we go down here to Flags... Well, we'll have a look at the spotter first. So, car left. That's is really Car good. right. Black flag. I don't think white flag's on there. It isn't. Green flag. Wow. Yellow. And that flashes. And then we've got blue flag as well, which also flashes. So all the flags are included. Perfect. Now, obviously, you don't have to have things set up as it is here. You can... You can go nuts and change things however you want. Now, I maybe wouldn't use the pit macros. It's, it's very, very rare that I would use those. I'd just change the things in the simulator depending on the circumstances of the race. So I have set up another profile. Uh, if we've got a profiles manager, click on mine. Just turn the ignition off first and we'll just load that in. Now, if I can do this... Anybody can. Now, this literally took me about 10 minutes to set this up. Didn't take long at all. So now we'll turn on the LEDs. And now we've got a battery light and a start button. So we've pressed the battery to turn on the ignition. Alter, was? Das ist so geil. Das sind so ganz kleine. Das sind so Kleinigkeiten, die ich so. Oh, ich feiere das. Oh, dass du den Knopf drückst und das dann angeht und das ist dann. Grün leuchtet und jetzt der Rest noch dazu kommt. Just that we can start the engine. Oder? Start the engine. Oh, no. das ist so geil, ja? Yeah? Was? These are the colors that I've got it set up. So the start button turns to green. We've got the delta in green. We've got pass left, pass right. And I probably wouldn't have the pit macros on. I would use these buttons for something else. But as you can see... Just by spending 10 minutes within SimHub, wow. I've just created something that is a bit more personalised. And obviously, we've still got all the flags, as I showed you just a short time ago. So, as you can see, this device really comes to life when you add some LEDs. Yes, you can use ChromaWorks and just have the colours static. But if you don't use SimHub, then you're missing out on what this has to offer. So, performance-wise... This is absolutely brilliant. It does everything that I want it to do as a button box, but you've also got the added benefits of all the telemetry-based LEDs that come from SimHub. And if I can set up a profile in about 10 or 15 minutes on SimHub, then you can. I will make my profile shareable. If anybody wanted my profile on SimHub, then you're more than welcome to have it. I'll leave a link somewhere in the description for it. And finally, we'll talk about price. Now, nice things don't come cheap. Okay. It's just a matter of fact. That's how life is. So for this device, it's £249 plus taxes and shipping. So in the UK, 250 quid plus VAT. So that takes you up to 300 quid. Then you've got shipping on top of that. If you wanted to buy a RAM mount... These are extra, and they're about 30-odd quid plus tax from Precision Sim Engineering. You might be able to find these cheaper yourself on Amazon, but these are RAM mounts or a VESA mount. You don't have to buy those when you buy the kit. You get the kit, and you get the mount in place, and obviously all the nuts and bolts and T-nuts and all that kind of stuff. All that comes with the kit. Now, it isn't cheap. It isn't cheap. But I bought a button box, I think it was last year, you might have seen some pictures on social media when I bought it. And I paid over £500 for a button box. Well, it was actually two button boxes. That one was vertical and one was horizontal. I paid over £500 for that, and that was the biggest mm. load of tosh ever. I've, I've never spent money 
so foolishly in my life. <laughs> this is half the price and a million times better. So would I recommend it? Absolutely, 100%. If your pockets are deep enough, then this is probably the only button box you will ever, ever need. You will never have to buy another one. No, da will, also ganz ehrlich, da würde ich auch keine andere mehr kaufen. Da, also, nö, würde ich auch nicht. <laughs> If Precision Sim Engineering want this back, which they might, I'm going to buy one. That's how much I like this product. Uh, we'll summarize, looks wise, I think it looks brilliant. Even better when the LEDs are all lit up. Build quality. It's precision sim engineering. It's off the scale. I promise you, it is perfect. Performance-wise, works flawlessly within SimHub. All of the buttons work as you would expect. The rotary encoders are brilliant. It performs exceptionally. Value for money. It's a lot of money, but this is something that I would use every single day. I don't know if I've ever had my hands on a more useful, ergonomically sound piece of kit in my life. It is literally that good. So if you want to know more information about this device, I will leave a link down below in the description. Now, this isn't a sales pitch. It doesn't matter to me whether you buy one of these or not. There's no affiliate links. There's no kickbacks. I don't get a penny. They just sent me this item to test and have a look at. So buy one if you want. If you don't want to buy one, that's absolutely fine by me. But I'm just telling you that... Yeah, come on. If you did buy one, you would not be disappointed and you would never have to buy another button box again. I'm calling it a button box because that's essentially what it is. I know it's called the Pro Switch Panel. But it's a button box, but a little bit more special. So I want to say a massive thank you to Simon from Precision Sim Engineering for sending me this unit out to test. I really appreciate it. Link down below in the description. This gets the biggest ever thumbs up from me. It's the best That's ever, good. most usable, easily That's mountable, pretty looking, most functional bit of sim racing kit that I have ever, ever used. To paraphrase, brilliant. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great week. See you later. Cheers. Cheers. Das ist schon wild. Dankeschön für den äh, Raid. Agent, ich hoffe, ihr hattet einen äh, schönen Stream heute. Hier, falls ihr auch gucken wollt. Wow. Das Ding holt mich aber mal komplett die Spaghetti ab. Das Ding holt mich aber mal komplett die Spaghetti ab. Also da würde ich dann meine aktuelle äh, Box würde ich da auch nochmal umbauen. Ich bin ja, also... Da, uh, unten nochmal... Also, ja, doch. <lacht>